Well, the latest update coming in from the Parliament of Uganda indicates that Bukimbiri County Member of Parliament, Honorable Eddie Quizera, today collapsed during the parliamentary session as Iyala candidates presented their manifesto. However, it was not clear why Quizera collapsed, but his colleague members of parliament lifted him to the parliamentary ampullas, which rushed him to hospital for medical attention. Well, it should be remembered that this is not the first time a member of parliament is collapsing in parliament. A few months ago, the deputy prime minister, Horrible Moses Ali, also collapsed in parliament. Well, Kampala City Deputy Lord Mayor Doreen Nyanjura has said that Kampala Central Member of Parliament Honorable Muhammad Insereko is full of hatred towards NUP President His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine. Bobby Wine's camp and Honorable Insereko have been involved in a heated exchange of words over the Computer Misuse Act. Now, in her own words, she said, I have been following Honorable Muhammad Isereko's interviews about His Excellency Bobby Wine. They are all over social media. I find Sereko's interviews disgusting, disrespectful, and hateful. How ironical, given the fact that he's working on a social media bill meant to stop exactly what he's doing. However, there were social media users who came to the defense of Honorable Muhammad Sereko. They said that Bobby Wine's responses have also always been disrespectful and undermining Honorable Sereko. Well, I don't know how this is gonna end, but I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Now, Angelina Nabakosa, the lady who hid Kabaka Mutesa II after the 1966 attack on Mengo Palace, died this morning after battling a long time sickness. According to BBS Terrifina, Nabakosa has died at the age of 110 years. Nabakosa is one of Buganda's heroes due to the role she played of hiding Kabaka Mutesa II from harm when the Uganda army, led by Colonel Idi Amini Dada, was looking for him to kill him after attacking his palace. May her soul rest in peace. I think her life should be celebrated. I think we don't have to mourn, but uh, you know, we should celebrate her life. You know, making 110 years, my friend, it's not easy in this Uganda that we are living in today. Well, finally, the United Arab Emirates government has blacklisted Ugandans from entering Abu Dhabi and Dubai cities effective next month. Well, the move has also seen Nigerians as another group of people facing the blacklist as the Middle East country moves to streamline its working environment and curb the growing vice of illegal migration and criminality. Well, according to reports, no Ugandan will be allowed to enter the United Arab Emirates without 5.3 million shillings extra on their account. Well, I don't know what you think about this move. Are these people trying to stop Ugandans from traveling to their country? Anyway, that's the latest update I have for you right here on the Buzz UG. And uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.